Hello guys, it's Dale here with a new day trading analysis. Today I talk about Canadian dollar Japanese yen. So that's what you see before you, Canadian dollar Japanese yen. You are looking at 30 minute time frame. And what I want to talk about in here is this strong buying activity that took place on Friday. And I also want to talk about this gap, which still hasn't been closed yet and about volumes which we have right below the gap in here. So what this is telling us is that on Friday aggressive buyers were pushing the price upwards. Then they were adding to the long positions in here where you see that heavy volume cluster and on Monday the price opened with this gap and buyers pushed the price some more upwards and currently and there's a rotation. Now gaps like this one, opening gaps, tend to get closed. So what I expect is price to make a pullback to close the gap. Now behind the gap there is this heavy volume zone and those heavy volumes as I was saying were buyers who were pushing the price upwards right I'm saying that because there's that uptrend so that's why I'm saying that those are strong buyers so once the gap gets closed buyers from this zone should become active and they should defend their positions this heavy volume zone is clearly important for them because they placed a lot of their longs there and that's why they should try and push the price up first from there again All right this is one of my favorite setups when you see a opening gap and heavy volume zone behind it the price tends to react to such zones very nicely in this case the beginning of that heavy volume zone is at 97.92 this is where i think the price is most likely to turn now, apart from all this, there's also one more setup uh, that I like here. And the setup is a price action setup. If you look in here and in here and here, you can see that the price nicely reacted to this zone in the past. This means that it worked as a resistance. Not exactly the level, but this general area, right? It worked as a resistance. Now, Afterwards, the price blew past that resistance and that means that the resistance is breached and it became a support, right? That's what happens when significant resistance is breached. It becomes a support. And this is a price action setup that occurs at the same place as that volume profile setup I was talking about earlier, right? Based on that volume cluster. So those are two trading setups that both point to the same support which we have in here. So what we need to do now is just wait for the pullback and take it from there. Just be careful there is no macro news coming up at the time of the pullback. If there was significant macro news either on Japanese yen or on the Canadian dollar at the time of the pullback then it's safest not to take such a trade, all right? So that's about that. If you guys are interested in learning more about volume profile trading, and if you would like to trade alongside me every day, then what I recommend is visiting my website. The address is trader-dale.com. And if you click this button right here, which says browse courses, then it will take you to this page where you can get either my elite pack which is educational and indicator pack focused on volume profile trading. Or if you are interested in day trading with Oriflow, then I recommend getting the Oriflow pack, which is also educational and indicator pack. This one focuses on day trading with Oriflow. All right, so that's about that. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video. Or if you decide to join one of our courses, then I'll see you in the members area.
All right, so see you next time and until then, happy trading.